This video is brought to you by Peach's All FX Pack. Please go check it out or he will kidnap my parents. Hello universe, this should hopefully be short and sweet and helpful. I've got this little pointy ball here, right? And it is following this curved path. Now I would like the pointer arrow to follow our path. I've keyframed and generated our path using our transform node here. Do you have to use a transform? No. You could use a merge node, you could use whatever you want to use to animate this, but it is important that you're generating this green path on screen. In DaVinci Resolve, this is called a path variable, and depending on which node you keyframe it on, if I go up to the top right corner here, you'll see we have this modifiers tab, and if I click on it, you can see our path variable. Why is this important? Well, if I go back to my transform node here, right, and I'm on the tools tab, all you need to do is if I want this to follow the shape of the path, I can right click here, go to connect to, mine is gonna be called path one, yours might be different, and then we want heading, not displacement, heading. You'll notice it snaps it into place, and now it will follow the curvature of our object. What happens if, let's say for instance, it starts out a little offset. All we need to do is go over to our transform node here, go over to that modifiers tab, go to the heading offset and adjust until it is lined up with what you need. Now you can connect to this variable without using uh, a transform node. So let's say I connect in this other image here. If I wanted to, I could go to my merge node here, go over to the angle, right click, connect to path one heading. And even though I'm not animating this image along the path, you'll notice that it does follow the curvature of the path. That's because what's happening on the back end is if I go to my transform node here, go to the modifiers tab, what it's doing is it's looking at the change in displacement. So as our object is displaced along this path, it is going to follow the heading. If I were to remove the keyframes here, you'll notice that it does not move and nothing changes angles. Hope this helps you guys. And if you're looking for a more mathematical way of doing this, uh, check out this video here. I do a complete breakdown of some more advanced stuff in Fusion. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.